Lost Voice Girl! This is the moment Lee Ridley went from concert comedian to Britain's Got Talent champion. The 37-year-old won the hearts of the judges and nation in his very first audition. It was a love that only grew. By his final performance, Lee seemed destined for triumph. I started off in a disabled steps tribute band. We were called Ramps. In Lee's hometown, it's clear people got behind him. Those that know Lee and his family are still adjusting to his newfound fame. Lee's cousin Rachel works with us, she's the participant manager here. Um, so Rachel and all our family have obviously been in London this week. So everywhere you go there's posters up and everyone's been rooting for him, so I'm really pleased. You just never think that someone from your own area is going gonna, is gonna to do that well. So it's been really brilliant. For a little place like, like concert, it's, it's really brilliant. Lee's already well known in Newcastle. He's been performing as the Lost Voice guy for six years. Those who've worked with him say his victory is not just a win for him. I think the comedy circuit in general has always had this kind of bitter taste in their mouth when it comes to Britain's Got Talent because it's been such a difficult show for comedians to go on. And then now this year we had three comedians in the final and two of them became first and second, which is even better. I think it's monumental. I think you'll see an influx of comedians applying for next year. Fingers crossed it's going to bring stand-up back to TV again. Lee's biggest gig of the year will now be in front of the Queen when he performs at the Royal Variety Show. I'm very excited to get to perform in front of the Queen. I've loved her since she sang Bohemian Rhapsody. Lee wasn't giving interviews today. He's been recovering from rehearsing, performing and partying. But when we last saw him, he said he'd love to have a sellout show in Newcastle one day. A dream which now looks set to become a reality. Jessica Nevin, ITV News.